Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'll be showing you guys Coin Converter, which is a currency converting software made with Java and on NetBeans. This is starting off for the first time, so it's taking a while. You can select the countries from here. This like got like from A to Z, every country you can think of. And let's go with a random country now. Okay, so say this is the amount that you want to convert from England to Egypt. So let's click on convert. It's going to go over to the internet, get a conversion rate, and then multiply that with this amount, and you get a uh, final value. I'm gonna check this to see if it actually worked or not. That's 19.91, and this is 19.85. It's pretty much the same. So Whenever I click on convert, it goes over to the internet, it searches this exact phrase and then it copies this data here. If you go on inspect, you can see, so it basically copies this thing here. Alright, so let's click on source and uh, so in order to do this uh, web scrapping thing, you need to have JSoup installed, like add it onto your libraries. So I had JSOP to like import it here and if you go down here you'll see a few like codes which are pre-done by in like NetBeans did whenever you add like labels or forms then you get uh, some codes by default so these are the codes by default I didn't touch any of them I so this is these are the things that happen when I click on uh, like convert now so first thing that happens is create a variable called select selected coin one which is the information from combo box one then I create another string called selected coin two which is from combo box three this is combo box three it was supposed to be two alright so now I have the country names now I have to create a search link so like I have to create this link here so that like you see England plus currency plus two plus Egypt I have to I already have this now I have to add this with this and create a URL so I create the final URL here the first country plus currency to the second country and I save this onto URL string now we have the try catch thing here because let's say this is a, this can there are things that can go wrong here so we have j label one dot set text so I'm gonna change the label text to read from web URL so you you read from web is another method that will extract the uh, currency conversion rate, conversion rate and conversion rate will be set as the label text the information that I'm given to the method to do the extraction and everything is stored on URL so my uh, selected countries go to the URL and then they go to read from web which starts here the country names are now in web URL and don't make this like complicate you I'm, I'm just gonna use one of the following search engines this is Google and Bing currently I'm using Bing but so this remember this is the country name and I had this with the question website URL and I stored that on URL too so now the main thing is about JSOP extracting the URL that I've provided them so I give them the link that I want to extract from and they create a document then they store all the data on the document here and if this isn't possible like this connection to the internet isn't working then this uh, warning sign will come up but if it does work then it will continue to uh, the processes here which are filtering out the class that I want from all that HTML stuff so I search this by get element by class so if you go over here and if you go to inspect you'll see that every text is under a class name or something so this 
text here is under the class name like tfl random text here so since i'm using bing for this like bing is url2 and i'm using bing for this i'm using uh, a different class name which so for bing this is the class name and now uh, this uh, is stored in link and now i turn that link into a string file like link dot to string now uh, like starting out this was stuff supposed to be dot text and by using dot text you only get the specific thing that you want but apparently the specific thing that i want gets encoded differently by jsoup and i get question marks like this here so i can't use question marks so i had to use two string which will give you the whole result and then i use substring to only extract the thing that i want so at first i get the whole thing by using two string i basically get everything around this class here all the text here and then i decide to extract the thing here and it gets stored under raw and this is what gets printed here so what you do then is create a new string called not raw so how I extract is using substrings 43 means this is the character index 43 and 48 is here somewhere so and then I return that to my, like the previous label um label one dot set text so now label one is the conversion rate and then i use this conversion rate to do the fall at other calculations and conversions for the calculations the first thing i do is store the label one dot text into another string and then i convert that to a double file because you can't like do calculations with string files and I also convert the input that the user does to, also, to a double file as well and then this is where the conversion happens but before I convert I use a if statement in order to verify that the field isn't blank like the user didn't like input it absolutely nothing so if the user inputted nothing then this is what they will get this is what you'll see and if it's not blank then the conversion takes place and, and then I convert it back to string and you have the final the final result on text field too this is like pretty simple and like really easy to understand I could have done a few things different to make it a more efficient I guess most effort was on extracting using JSOOP because I couldn't find a way to get the exact amount in any place the closest I got was to get the whole result so I for at first I wanted to use a different website like um, xe.com or something but extracting from those websites are also not easy I kept getting errors and stuff so I settled with this it almost didn't work because I kept getting question marks but then I decided to get the whole string and extract the information from there and that is how it works now in order to like make this drop down I didn't like type the type all the text here I what I did was copy paste a list of all the country names since like it's a google search it's smart enough to understand that I'm talking about currency conversion when I type in country names and it works another problem that happened was when sometimes google doesn't allow sometimes google will verify if you're like a software trying to access the websites or not so this is why i started to use bing instead 